Welcome. Welcome. Welcome to Joe Vlogs. Uh, this is season two. We've moved <laughs> studios. We've moved about three meters. Obviously, I've been hyping up in all my videos, which probably none of you have seen. Obviously, we've got a new wave of new new subscribers from Rick Glassman. Yeah. What a fucking legend. Welcome all the new subscribers. Respect every single one of you, man. Um, anyone watching this, subscribing, fucking respect. You're a G. You're welcome around any time. Yeah. Um, depends, actually. That, that's it. That. Um, but welcome. Um, now we've got a new table. We've got new. We got new seats. Yeah. Um, and we're gonna do that wall up. We've got Mike back. Yeah. Because obviously Mike's got lots to, to talk about, and um, we're gonna go over sort of men's young issues that men are facing today. Because obviously we're young men, and we have a lot of issues. <laughs> so. But I thought that's a good sort of topic to start on. Oh, yeah, that's a good way to um, sort of veer in. Just because yeah. it's the classic like podcast thing to talk about, do you know what I mean? Yeah. I think, well, like, you've got like your conspiracy theories, your, yeah, all yeah. that sort of shit. And then this is another one where it's like, oh, you do a topic on, not we're not doing just like mental health, but. Are you, have you ever come across many of mental health podcasts? They're like you reel off the top of your head now. No, no, no. I mean, like, truthfully, it's not something I, I actually really like seek out. But there was one. There was one actually, a guy called Lewis who I went to uni with that's got one. Yeah. I can't, can't remember what it's called. <laughs> Decent. Um, Big up, Lewis. Um, but he made one man. But his was proper professional work. His was like on Spotify and like. Wait, yours was on Spotify. Sound good. Yeah, well, I don't know. Maybe one day. You know what I mean, we'll see. I think it could be on Spotify. If I got some mics. That's all you need, Mike. Yeah, it's true, you need a couple of mics. They're not that expensive though, man. Yeah. I want the ones that plug like plug in and the, the what do you call it? The the like te- not handles like I don't know what you mean. Yeah, it's, it's like a little yeah, brain in it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like because there's an omni mic you can get which looks like that and you put in the middle and, and it's probably just as good and it can hear. But it's like people that won't know about it will be like trying to like speak <laughs> it just looks fucking awkward, man. So I was like, nah. So for now, this should pick up our sound fine, but I think when there's like four people, and especially when we watched the UFC the other night, and I filmed it, yeah, um, couldn't it fuck all because the UFC because the TV was on. So right, okay, where oh, yeah, but yeah, that's fucking most boring thing. <laughs> baby <laughs> steps, mate. Baby steps. We'll get there eventually. Yeah. Anyway, looping back, um, what have we got pulled up here? And I, I was just googling because. We haven't, I haven't, we haven't prepared anything for the podcast because we. Yeah, we, we just tend to do it off sort of. That's it, man. We've texted each other and said, "Oh, we'll talk about this. We'll talk about this." Because it's been four months now since the last one, and even since we done the last one, we were like, "Let's do. We need to do another one." Yeah, I can't believe that's been four months. Yet. I know, I know, man. It goes fast. It's crazy. And that's a, the problem is we can put it off so easily as well. Like I know, it's so easy to just. So next week, that's my. That's why it's been so bad. Because I'm like, fucking. Oh no, nah, don't do it Thursday. I've got a fucking driving lesson. Don't do it. Do you know what I mean? <laughs> but that's like, I've got, got mad excuses. Yeah, man. But I, I also don't see this as like. Like this is quite fun for. That's what I'm saying. Yeah, like, like, yeah, it's not, yeah, yeah. No, like, I, I like doing it. It's almost like quite therapeutic, mate. Because mm. there's something like I know we have these conversations quite a bit, but there's something about that added. Like having it recorded. Yeah, it makes you. Week. I think it makes you think a bit more as well. It does because it before you think, oh fuck me, man, camera, like I don't know, but you, you like you think a bit more clearly when yeah. you are. And I don't you, know, it's weird. Yeah, yeah, you want it, You don't want to say because if you're just chilling and you're having these conversations, it's so easy to laugh and get off topic because that's usually yeah. what happens, and then you never ever end up talking about like what you want to talk about, and that's why. With this, that Timmy guy, you know, they've got Timmy that's been calling me from the Healthy Minds. Oh, yeah, yeah. yeah. Bro, I, I didn't know his name. His name's Timmy. And um, he was calling me. And that's why it's like, although it's not, I finished that now, there's six sessions of like CBT and Cog- uh, cognitive behavioral. Yeah, cognitive behavioral therapy. What do you reckon? Well, you know what? I'm not going to be like, it was that great, but. Cause I feel like I already I wasn't like sort of like going into it like why am I why am I feeling like this like I kind of knew do you know what I mean so mm-hmm. like and you you've got Google now as well I reckon that thirty years ago you would be like fuck me that's why 
That's yeah. why the brain works like that. That's why it's like negative thought, and then that just t- like you'd be like proper like. Whereas now I feel like all people look if they've, if you've already looked into it, you already know most of stuff. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So do do you think, do you feel like as a result of those six sessions, it's helped you? Yeah. Like, with any coping mechanisms? Yeah, definitely, man. Yeah, he's like went for a few things. No, that, that was all through the NHS, yeah, that wasn't. Yeah, all through NHS. That's pretty sick, man. Yeah, he's good. He's good, man. And especially for like, if I can get it done and get that set up, like, fuck me, anyone can, because I like. It's so easy to just be like, miss a call and then never call back. Because exactly. sometimes doctors, if they say they'll call you at Saturday, 5 p.m. and you, you, they don't chase you up, do you know what I mean? It's not in their best interest but, really, mate, because they've got other patients to deal with. And... Yeah, yeah. But that's what I'm saying, like with that, Timmy. <laughs> um, Timmy's a funny name, man, I'm sorry. Yeah, I'm just, I'm just, I just look being like, it's, it's Timmy, and I'm like, all right. Like, I'll, sometimes I'll be like, I need to tell Timmy about this one, this is fucking yeah. wrong. But, um, like, even that, that's why, like, it's only, like, that's 45 minutes a session. And even the stuff isn't even, might not be that helpful, man. It's just knowing that you're there for that, you're there for a reason. That's you're there cool. for how you feel, and you're there for... You know, you're not going to go off topic. You don't. Like, I don't end up talking about football with him. I don't end up talk about anything else. It's just like forty five minutes. How I'm feeling, and him telling me why I'm feeling like that. Yeah. Which is just that helps, man. It might help. That's quality, man. Know, man. Yeah. No, that's quality, man. That's that's sick that you got something from it, mate. Like that. Yeah. I mean, did, did I tell you about my experience with therapy like back in the day? No, no. No? Yeah, yeah. So like when when like my anxiety was like through the roof and like absolutely right. Because mm. fortunately working through the bank, like you get access. I don't want to call it like special. It's like you can get what would normally cost quite a bit of money. Yeah. In terms of like health benefits and things like that. Yeah, yeah. So I was like, look, I can't hide this from work anymore. But like I've got to tell my management. She was like, oh, there's like a scheme that you can go through. I don't know if it's a scheme. It's just like we can get. How bad was it getting? Like I get like panic attack from a train like every day. Yeah. And then like that would make me late to work. So that's why I couldn't hide it, you know what I mean? Oh. So she was like, Why do you guys she she sat me down one day before I told her she was like, Michael, I just want to ask you like, are you like addicted to drugs? Oh, sure. And I was like, What? And she was like, just you like on edge. I mean like not like physically in person with her, but just like my attendance was so erratic, you know what I mean? Like yeah. I'd just be like yeah, yeah. she knew I'd be on the right time train to work. And then it'd be like 20 minutes later. Yeah, 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 she was just yeah. like, what's going on? Yeah. And I was like, right. That's nice of her to... Yeah. Well, she, 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 was like, she was like a mom to me, mate, this manager. Right? She was lovely. Mm. Um, but I, I didn't even know what anxiety was at that point. I was just experiencing all these emotions. And I was like, I just don't... What is this? Man? Yeah, like, yeah. I feel... Do I feel excited? Do I feel like nervous? Or what's going on? Anyway. How old were... How old would you have been then? Uh, 18, 19, 18. mate. 18, 19. It was a very stressful period in my life, bro. I was working full time. Um... I was studying through the bank for a degree as well. Yeah. Um, I feel like at that age anyway, especially as a young man, you're kind of just figuring out a lot of shit at the same time. Mm. It was just very overwhelming. Yeah. So she was like, oh, okay, we can get some therapy through the bank. We go there once a week, blah, blah, blah. And it, like, it, it was awful, if I'm honest with you. Man. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. It, it was group therapy. Yeah. Oh, bro, I got, that's what I got off as well. Yeah, group therapy. man. Because like... Fuck that. The, the issue with it was... What? Like, I was getting, I was getting, it was once every Tuesday afternoon at somewhere in like Edge Bassin, like a really nice, like it would cost me a lot of money to go yeah. if, if I couldn't get it through work. You yeah, know what yeah, I mean? yeah. And like, I'd go there and like, man, like we'd sit in a circle and like, nice. like, like the geezer sat next to me, like almost took his own life and off his Like, it was that yeah, level. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And I'm just like, like, yeah. we're like, like we're going around sharing our problems yeah. and I'm like, fuck me. Yeah. I just get panic attacks on the train and like I'm just in a really stressed out position. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And that made me in my own mind diminish like what was going on with me. Mm. Like I was like, oh, you haven't really got anything going on because like he's yeah. almost killing himself, man. Yeah. So that did me no favours because I tried to make it, I tried to minimise it in my own mind because yeah, yeah. I felt like it wasn't important. Yeah. But it was. So it, it didn't really do anything for me, group therapy. Um, I think it's hard to bundle people together who are I think exactly on the same level. It's an awful lot of, of, it, of suffering, you know what I mean? Like the gap is often like that. I get like because Al- Alcoholics Anonymous is meant to be like, and all those like drugs anonymous, whatever. They all they all seem to work. Well, mm. for, for a lot of people because they're like, oh, this happened, 
But it is the same, like if you go in there probably going saying, Oh yeah, I think I've been too many beers every day and someone's like, I do forty bottles of vodka a day. Exactly. You're like, Oh well I'm, oh, I shouldn't be worried. Exactly, yeah. exactly. Whereas like it's gotta be done like a case by case basis, man. And there was the occasional one on one session that I got from it, which it like it kinda of helped me but I don't know man, I just yeah, I didn't really get much from it to be honest. So what so how did how how are you now? How did that happen? What through the years? Did it go away? Did you just learn how to cope with it? Yeah, man. Like, because you can you can feel it. Like, you can not that it goes away on its own. But it's like it never goes away. You, you just can learn how to feel, deal with it. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Just, you don't like, need. Like now, if I get anxious, I'm like, I feel like I've dealt with it so many times. Yeah, I'm just like I understand what this feeling is. I understand that there's a trigger involved that's caused this feeling, mm -hmm. but I don't have to identify too strongly with the way I feel, you know what I mean? Yeah, yeah, yeah. And like, you can also, it's almost like, it's almost like being in this living room or looking in through the window. Yeah. Outside, in, like say this living room is yeah, like an anxious yeah, yeah. feeling. It's almost like looking through the window outside and being like, ah, oh, okay, that's there, but I'm not gonna buy into that too much. You know what I mean? That's, that's a good way to look at it, man. Yeah, but like, Bro, well, truthfully, like the, the first thing that really helped me was a book called Dare. Yeah. Have I ever told you about this? No, no. It's an acronym. I, I cannot remember what it's, it stands for. Like, isn't it something to do with drugs? Nah. <laughs> nah, there's like a Dare. Matt Miller wore this Dare top once, and it was like, don't. Okay, sorry. Yeah. Okay. Well, yeah. But obviously, obviously <laughs> that acronym gets thrown around quite a bit. Yeah, probably, <laughs> yeah. But um, yeah, man, this book called Dare, and basically. What it teaches you to do, it sounds so counterintuitive, but it, it works like a dream, man. Mm. It's like, say you're about to go, say you get really anxious about like parties, like social situations. Yeah. You go, say like, you're, I might go out tonight. Yeah, say your social anxiety is through the roof, you're like, fuck, like, mm. how am I going to cope and be in the room with people? Yeah. And you start feeling that anxious feeling. What it teaches you to do is reframe the way you look at it. So rather than going like, Oh, okay. And like in your mind, you're like pushing it away, like, oh, I don't want to feel like this, I don't want to feel like this. Yeah. Instead, you go, yes. <laughs> you're, like, you're like, I want to feel more of this anxious <laughs> feeling. <laughs> and it sounds, it sounds ridiculous, but mate. I don't know. It, <laughs> 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 that sounds like you listen to someone, get like, you pay for it, like, there, people therapy, and someone's going, so then you're going to want to go, you love that feeling of being fucking shook. And everyone's going. And, you, and you're like, okay. And you walk outside and like, uh, nah, like, so, so you feel anxious, but like, you like. Well, like, what, right, when you feel anxious, what's the first thing you do? You go, I don't want to feel like this. Yeah, you start thinking about it. Yeah, you're like, I want to run away. I want to get out of my own head. I want to run away from mm. this feeling. I don't want to feel anxious. Yeah. But what this process does is you say, wow. Oh, Fucking come on, man. Yeah, yeah. I like, I like, like it. Let's go. <laughs> I like it. You know what I mean? I actually like it. Like, <laughs> <laughs> no, but you, nah. you, you like it, nah. man. You like it. On my, my driving lessons, man, now, like, they've got a little bit better. But at the start, like, obviously that's a different sort of anxious anxiety because that's like... Performance anxiety. Yeah, in a way, because you know, well, for driving. Um, <laughs> uh, <laughs> <laughs> for um, for like, you know, like I know that's uh, and that's the problem. Everyone goes through that. That's the problem. And like I was like, no, I'm, this is getting too. No one has this like I did. Like this is insane. And that that feeling on a Tuesday, like the whole day of work is just like, oh. And then you know what? Sometimes I found that helps. If I get like pissed off, and like like um, something happens at work or something's like really annoyed me, then I'm like. Fuck it, don't even matter. Like, fuck this. I don't even give a shit. If it's a fucking shit lesson, it's a shit lesson. Fuck it. Fuck exactly. it. Really. Which exactly. is kind of the same sort of like. I, I, I guess maybe did, experiencing yeah. that anger, maybe it takes up. Like, this isn't. I'm just like imagining what, what this could be. Mm. Experiencing like another emotion to the degree that you're experiencing anxiety. Maybe it just doesn't leave the room in your mind for the anxiety anymore. Yeah. yeah. For that split second of anger, you get a minute. Kind of like that analogy. Yeah, yeah. So looking through the window and you're like, yeah. Fuck me. Oh, yeah, hundred percent. But like I, with with that on a Tuesday when you have a driving lesson, mate, it, it could also be like the first time that happened. 
because we humans are creatures of habit, aren't it? Yeah. And you've now made a habit of thinking Tuesday anxiety. Oh, bro, well, it's it's starting now like of being like Monday anxiety for the Tuesday. Okay. And then I'll get back and I'll still be like this week. Like that's that's the problem. It's like a, it's it sounds stupid because I know it's not. I've got no, I, there's no reason for me to be anxious about it. Like I can drive now. At the start, I didn't understand because I couldn't drive, do you know what I mean? And I was like, I don't even know what to do. I felt like I, I should know what to do. Yeah. I've been taught it, but I forgot it. So I'm pissing off my instructor. Stuff like that yeah. makes sense. Whereas now it's like, I've got no reason to be anxious about it. But exactly. it's the, I think it is the, you know what? I think it is the social, the confidence that I'm lacking. So I was thinking about this, I was like, is it the driving? Because I can drive, so why am I worried about it now? And I was like, it's like a, a, an exam. Like, I don't think I've ever been nervous for an exam. It's I've been nervous. About like, being nervous for an exam? Yeah, and like being nervous about like meeting people outside of an exam and going into an exam oh, with okay. other people. Okay. And like, I'm not nervous about the part, like a party. I'm nervous about like being around, being around people at the party yeah okay. do you know what I mean so okay. it's like I don't know I, don't know, I was just thinking the other day like I'm not nervous it's, I'm not anxious of what I think I'm anxious of it's like these are the little things and then you're like oh it's obviously the most simple thing that it can be it's this but sometimes it's like something really tiny that you just change uh, you just blow and out you can, of proportion it? But, yeah but that's the problem it's so hard to talk about stuff like this because you not like I mean it's hard to talk about but it's hard to express it it's hard to express it and hard to tell people what's the right thing to do and like yeah. there's a, there is there still isn't a, like a, not a cure but there's still not well man if there was like a go advice even advice is like you can't really get advice like it's and not why do you think that is is it because is it because <sighs> it's too it's, is it because these conversations don't happen enough yeah. I, I i think personally bro what it is because the conversation isn't big enough around everything we're all experiencing because we internalize so much mm. like i don't i don't think there's that many well there are solutions but yeah. i don't know i just don't think the conversation around mental health is like normalized no, like, that's like right when was the last time someone said to you you're right mate how you doing and you said actually mate i can get out of bed this morning yeah like, this just doesn't happen no. you know what i mean like yeah, no, that's 99.9 of the time you say yeah sam mate yeah. even if you're having the shittiest day of your life 100 so like i don't know if this could ever happen, but like imagine a world where like, I mean, you probably wouldn't say this to a stranger, but someone you've got a relatively decent relationship. Mm. Like the example I just gave then, like, actually mate, no, I'm not right. Mm. But I'm having a bit of a shit one. Yeah. But I, I don't know if that would ever, and then like and sitting down and like vocalising that. And yeah, yeah. It's, it's hard. Well, that's that's how I think I, um, I, I not sort, kind of sort it out with feeling like depressed because like, I was definitely depressed for like, I don't know, probably even, at, probably at uni, like always in like bits. And see, then- And I had no idea about that, mate. Yeah. So every time I would see you at uni, or you'd come back. Yeah. Like Sam, like it's Grafton. Mm. Yeah, well that's the thing, I think most people, are, they don't, and I probably wasn't depressed like then, do you know what I mean? And yeah. I drank loads as well. Like I was drinking ridiculous amounts. And then, I um, it was just a mad couple of years, and then what happened? Like, I was just feeling depressed anyway, and then not really knowing why, but just being like, like feeling like kind of normal, but then thinking, oh, it must be this. If something happened, I'd be like, oh, it's this, it's making me feel. But it'd be like on my mind constantly, and then I broke up with my girlfriend as well. That that happened. Well, she broke up with me, so great. But so I was feeling like sh- even shitter, and then um, like my dad as well got like prostate cancer that year, and all these things that were happening, and I like I t- none of them except for like I was hating my job, but like, none of them I was like I'd never go like I'd laugh about it and be like oh yeah it's decent yeah do you know what I mean? But yeah. then I think the one good thing about all of that was all of the bad things. I think like if I was speaking to my mom about it, she'd be like, "Are you okay? Like, are you alright?" Or someone would say like, "They'd ask me, are you okay?" Because 
you know, you've just broken up with someone that you, you're meant to feel shit. Exactly. So that's when I could like say, actually, yeah, I'm not. And not feel like a pussy or have no reason. Because if I say to someone, yeah, nah, bro, I feel like fucking shit. I, it's like, they're not going to go, why, man? Like, what, you, you expect someone to say that to you or be yeah. like, snap out of it or... Not, like, obviously everyone is going to be fine with you and everyone's going to be cool you no matter what, but that, and then once that happened, I was like, oh, I feel like now I'm talking about everything. And then I was like, fucking Pandora's box, man. And I was like, well, why are you there? Like, yeah. I, I'm not feeling great about this as well, and this and this and this and this. And then that's when, like, started being like, and cool, I think I've definitely got depression. Like, even like talking about it and stuff, like saying, oh, I've definitely got depression. Like, I need to, I want to do something about it. And the call the doctors, then it'd be like, um, I'll do it next week, I'll do it next week. I need to call the doctors. Yeah. I'll do it next week. And then I'd have like really bad days, but it's like 7 p.m. on a Thursday. You're like, right, tomorrow morning, I'm going to call the doctor. And you wake up and you just don't do it. And then one day, I think I dad called up and just said, I think I'm depressed. Like, I'm feeling really shit. He asked me a load of, quick, like, box ticking questions, basically. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah and I was yeah. like, do you want to try like say group therapy, then he called me back again and was like, do you want to try group therapy, CBD, uh, not CBD, CBT. That was fine. Um, <laughs> um, and antidepressants as well. And that's, yeah. and I was like, that's when I was like a bit shook, man, because before you go on antidepressants and you Google antidepressants, bro, fuck me, bro, it scares the fuck out of you. That, that, that's quite interesting that he was so quick to offer you. Well, that's the thing. Antidepressants. He was quick to offer me them, but I think that made me feel better in a way because I was like, oh, well, it's, it clearly can't be that powerful if he's yeah. offering that. And, and I think he knew as well. And like, like, you can't, no one would maybe lie about it to get the drug because it's not like a, like it doesn't make you feel different in, like, it's not like you don't get your highs, you know what I mean? Yeah, yeah, it's yeah. not like you've like Xanax or something or like fucking like Valium where you'd like, Act like that to get that. So I think they prescribe it to you because it's like, well, <laughs> you're not depressed and you want to say it for fuck it one. Yeah, yeah, but yeah, yeah. I don't know, but do, do you know if it's if it's in any of the doctors' like interest to do that from like a uh, what's the word I'm looking for? What like 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 like, like a, does, does it look good for them? I, I don't know. Maybe we can Google this and find. Yeah, like is it like oh okay. I don't think they're meant. I, I don't think they're meant like, to. Like you have to hand out X amount of this <clears throat> prescription. I don't think so. I don't. I don't think it works. I don't think. So. And that could be like a conspiracy theory, but like I yeah, don't, I, don't, I don't think so. Yeah. I think it's genuinely like they have these guidelines where it's like, um, you know they, and obviously a doctor doesn't. I don't think a doctor. Well, maybe it's different. I don't know what, what I'm saying, but <laughs> I don't think a doctor, mental health is a lot of what doctors do. with, do you know what I mean? Doctors do with what? Physical health. So mm. the most they can do for mental health is really sort of be like, okay, we'll refer you to a therapist, a therapist or, psychiatrist, yeah. whatever, and these are drugs that help and might make you feel a bit better. Yeah, okay. and, see, and, and it's sort of like, I think they're very like, well, my doctor was like, you can choose what you want to be on. You can choose how much you want to be on. You can choose what, like whatever you think is going to help. And also, if that doesn't work, just try something else. And that's what made me think, all right, well, fuck it. Like, if I can't fucking like have a boner for fucking oh, like three weeks, yeah, it's not the end of the world. I'll, I'll move on to another drug. Yeah, and then I move on to another drug. And yeah, 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 or yeah. like. When it says like it changes the kit, like because honestly, some of the stuff on Reddit and things yeah, like that well, is like, oh, I've started, um, like it's changed the way I think and it's changed, what, and it's that's not what you want to hear, do you know what I mean? When you exactly. like, say it, you exactly. want to hear like someone say, I took it for four weeks and you're gonna feel shit at the start, but not that shit, I didn't anyway, and then that's interesting, and you already so feel they make you feel worse, they meant to feel worse, the worse yeah. because. I don't even know why, because they're serotonin or it's just, I don't, I don't know why, man. The, the, do you know what I mean? We need yeah, a psychologist yeah. or yeah. biologist, but. For 100%. But they make you feel worse, and it's like stick at it, because I remember having to go on like Reddit at the start, and there's so many people that are like, I'm two days in, I'm gonna stop. And then there's so many people being like, don't stop, like, 
keep at it, man, because I'm six weeks in and I feel great, or I'm six months in and I feel That's great. So it's like, right, just do it. And so I was just like, fuck it. And, and, and the thing is as well, you're not feeling, and so some of the complaints I was looking at beforehand that were like, I don't feel, I feel zombie-like. I don't like them, I'm getting off them. And in my head, I'm like, fucking zombie like, that's fine. Like, I feel zombie like. Like, I was like, that's, that's not, that's a side effect. Fuck yeah. Sign me up. Yeah, sign me up. So I was like, it's not that bad. And then, yeah, so like, I'm still on them now. And then. And what's your personal review of them? Well, that's the thing. I, sometimes I'm like, I'm, I'm still at a stage now where I think they're definitely good. Like, they, they are 100%. And I'm happier than I've ever been. So. It has to be them. Obviously, everything things change as well around me, but I'm more open to change. I'm more open to, like, I used to hate change, man. I was thinking about this the other day, man. How mad is this? So I was like, I used to hate change, like so much, and it made me so anxious and like, like weird things, like the Wild Green pub shutting down. Like it used to make me feel anxious, man, because I'd be like, ah, oh, like. I went there with my dad, like, maybe like, and I didn't even, like, I'd like, romanticise it in my head, like, oh, I'd go there all the time, like, I, I yeah, never yeah, went there, yeah, 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 like, yeah. like, that's, that, that's changing, this is changing, like, and, like, just the thought of anxious, you, just, whereas now, I'm like, and I was fucking depressed as fuck, now I'm like, the happiest of being, I'm like, I want things to change, Good. I'm like, I want stuff to happen, it's exciting, so it's like, Good. you know, but that doesn't make sense, I mean, you think, now I'm happy and good, I wouldn't want anything to change. I'd be like, I want to stay like this. I feel like a symptom of, of being at your best, like, you know, happiest, mm. is it like a symptom of it is that you are open to change because you aren't, because you're very comfortable stepping into the unknown because you're quite sure of yourself and you're quite sure of how you can manage the unknown. Yeah. And you know that you're capable. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah, definitely. Um, and you know it's not that bad that you can, it do, you, and you know, when you are in a good place, that it doesn't, nothing, the only thing that's making you feel good is you, yourself. It's not the it's always things internal, around you. Yeah, it's always so, an internal battle. Man. If anything happens, you know, the house falls down, it's a fucking disaster. But you're going to handle it so much better. I mean, I doubt anyone's house fucking burns down. Oh, they yeah. go, wow, what an exciting, <laughs> what, a, what a blessing, what a project. But, do you know what I mean? But like, man, you familiar with stoicism aren't you like you've looked into yeah, it yeah I, I am but before you say that i've had to delete this guy off instagram today go on he's what? like the main stoicism ryan man. holiday he's the one that steps up in the camera like every day and he's like i don't know bro you started putting bro, a bear picture uh, yeah. of jeff bezos on the on i don't know bro, on bro. Like a stoic page it, it, it might it might that and i was just like bro i was like okay this guy's like he's in the woods and he's like today <laughs> <remember?"> <laughs> I, think I, was like, bro, like, I was like i was like i had to delete it i felt bad because i was like I was so interested in it, but I was like, this guy's fucking me up, man. I was like, yeah, no, nah, he's, he's, he's so no, but yeah, I have heard about it. But yeah. explain it, man. Yeah, okay. well, I mean, I'm I'm not stoic, mate. Like I've read, so Marcus Aurelius um, was one of the rulers of the Roman Empire, and like he wrote a book called Meditations, um, which is basically like, imagine like, do you ever just write your thoughts out onto like into like a notebook and then just shut the book? Not really, man. I feel like a diary kind of thing. But yeah, no. well, yeah, it's kind of like a cross yeah. between like, like, say you come across something really inspiring or you just have a thought. And oh, like, oh, yeah, like a notes, like my notes app on my phone, kind of Yeah, thing. like imagine like just a lifetime of notes that's just oh, been consolidated. Yeah, like, 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 like his, a lot entire, of, his entire notes from his iPhone for like yeah, 100 years. Yeah, <laughs> transcribed <laughs> into like. Fuck me, that's hard. So he's obviously got some like gems in there. Bro, some really, really good gems. It's like, oh, I don't how's know. How's it written? Like, that sounds like you've been like, it's like it's like, it's not it's not a night time reading. I'd like, read like one sentence and be like, fuck. Yeah, me. like you don't sit down at night time and go, I've been like reading. <laughs> like, yeah, but, yeah like he's him. Um, how do you say his name? Ep Epictetus. Ep Epictus. Yeah, I don't know. Yeah, I know him. Yeah. One of you new fans might correct me in the comments Epic on that. Yeah, but he. Um, you know him. He. Who was the other one? He, anyway, like the the whole philosophy of stoicism is. Anything you can't control, stop worrying about it. Yeah, and I feel like so, and myself included. Like I'm no like 
fucking Buddhist monk, mate. Like, yeah, yeah. like I, I still worry about things that I don't necessarily have full 100% control over. But yeah, yeah. When you really think about what you do have control over, like, it's not a fat fucking lot, mate. Oh, no, not a lot at all. Yeah, like, that, like so it's, like it's perfect, though, isn't it? Like, I feel like, who thinks about stoicism and, you, like, I'm only just at that stage now, getting, like, you know, it's like a classic, I feel like, of, like, every man, young man, gets into, like, certain things, man. Yeah. You know, like, you're into, when you're fucking 10, you're into, like, wrestling. Yeah. And then you'll be, like, you'll get into fucking Yu-Gi-Oh cards. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Then yeah, you get yeah. into, like, something else. And then I feel like, get, yeah, yeah. Like, atheism. And you're, like, fucking, I'm on it. And then you love, like, and then you read something else and you're, like, oh, yeah, I'm down for that. And it, it just, you just keep going. And this is the thing, I feel that stopped, man. But, like, 26, it's still happening. Nah. I still feel, I'm, I'm finding new stuff and I'm, like, I feel so different to how I felt about something last year. Yeah. Um. Yeah. So, you know what I mean? But yeah. stoicism is like interesting. Man. But apparently, it is, it is stoicism came before like so, like you said, it was just thousands and thousands of years ago, or a thousand years ago. Uh, I'll go for some for a I'll few start, man. I'll give it a quick Google, yeah. But how it's like when it came around? First century BC. So, <laughs> I mean that was. <laughs> Jesus Christ. I know that's a statue of him. Um, yeah, so the third se- early third century before Christ. So what well, yeah, like two thousand years ago. Yeah. yeah technically. Yeah. Um then came like religion after that. Like the main religions. Yeah. Then it was like mainly Catholicism or like Christianity. It's like it's mad that that was the one that to me makes most sense. It does. It was like the one at the start where someone was like, oh, nah, fuck that. That's it does. A, you, what you're talking about, about this. Absolutely. There's no, no, I mean, there's no like fucking church for stoicism, mate. Mm. It's just, here's a few things that we believe are probably a good way to live by. Yeah. And it wouldn't hurt to just embody them into your life, you know what I mean? That's it. And that's just how it is. It's, it's, but, a nice, um, it's a nice thing to, it's a nice. Oh, like, it's kind of like, like one of my favorite quotes from that, that meditation book by Marcus Aurelius is his own. Death smiles at us, all we can do is smile back. Oh, I like that. It's like, it's the fucking yeah. inevitable, man, you know what I mean? Yeah, it's, it's what it is. Some of those fucking quotes, man. Oh, mate. My God. But they're class, aren't they? Bro. As if, like, some geezer thousands of years ago sat there was like, right. We should do a quote. Bro. Someone in a thousand years, Mike. Bro, you know when you send, when you send me a quote, like, so, like, uh, like, if Mike's, well, Michael sees something sometimes, and like, send me a quote, and it'll power me up, man. Like They do, though, man. You're yeah, great, bro, they, they do. They do. Like, it's like fucking, like, everything you know is fucking worthless. <laughs> Happiness <laughs> is built within yourself. Now stand up and scream. <laughs> and then I'm like, fuck! <laughs> and then, like, man, honestly, they are, they're, they're good, man. And that's, that is, that's right. Like, like, <laughs> that, <man. laughs> but, like, um, yeah, that's the sort of thing, man. It's like, that can change how you feel, in a way. It, it's, so it's, reading it's, that and knowing that it can change how you feel. Words on the screen. Yeah. Words on the screen can make it. It's like alter, alter your perception of something, you're like, hang on. It's like what you said then, the analogy you used about like your house burning down and stuff. Like, There's a lot of things that have happened kind of in my life where I've been like, this is really shit. Mm. But where I'm now, I'm like, I'm so glad that happened. Yeah. Because now this wouldn't have happened to me. Yeah. Without that really bad thing happening. Yeah, you know what yeah, I mean? Exactly. And it's just like, I don't know. It's like, I've got a mate who's like parents of like just divorced. Yeah. And like, she's not having the best of times as well. Obviously, who the fuck was like, yeah, it's not an yeah, easy thing to go through. But like, as someone who's like experienced of their parents being divorced as well, it's like, what well, I've been trying to like drill into her is like, this would be the best thing ever for your mum. Yeah, yeah. I know you might not see that now, but mm. in like four or five years, your mum's going to be in an amazing place because she'll be yeah. her own woman, yeah. standing on her own two feet, and she'll meet someone who's like perfect for Ricky. You know yeah, what I mean? Yeah, that's it. That's just like one example of like, yeah. I don't know, man. Just try, like, always trying to look at the blessing and like yeah, the lesson yeah. in any particular. Like, you can learn from anything, man. It always, like, that, that's it. And like, that girl, I don't know who she is, man, but. She, like she'll in five years time like it's always true what they say what you're worried about now in a year's time you won't be like exactly. and if you even make say, say whatever you're worrying about now five years time like say you're not going to go oh divorce. you're going to be like excited about what's happening 
Right, I'm not happy with them too. I you know what I mean? That's such a good point. You just have to look into the future with a... And, in it, like, it's, and, and there's going to be other stuff that's happening, man. Like, even if I could envision everything that could have happened five years ago, like, not much has changed, really. Like, I've grown up. I'm still living in the same, like, area. Even the worst area, technically. <laughs> like, do you know what I mean? And it's like... I still that like thousands of loads of stuff has happened that I wouldn't I could never have even imagined yeah. that has happened or people I've met conversations I've had the feel the feelings I've had how I feel and that's yes. that's it man. Could you tell me what you're worried about a year to go to this day a year ago to this day? <sighs> nah, not at all, mate. Oh, but, 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 in fact, I probably could. <laughs> no, no. no, exactly. That's what I'm saying. You could. But not like okay, the minute daily no, things. Of course not, man. That's it. You you don't. And I, I've actually never, even though I say it like, oh, you shouldn't worry about what you can't control, blah, blah, blah. I've never actually sat down and been like, hang on. Yeah, what were on, you worried on about? On this day, one year ago. What were you worried about on the 13th of November, 2020? Can you, can, does, does this, that This day, is what I mean, man. Does that day even but, 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 but I guarantee you on that day, I was going, oh, yeah. Oh, fuck it. Yeah, yeah. Like, 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 things like, you know, I mean, I was thinking about things. It's true, man. That's, I think that's a sick exercise, you know. Mm. You still actually sit down when you're worried about some stuff and go, right, yeah. this day one year ago, can I reel off the top of my head what I was worried about? Yeah. And of course you won't. So you'll be able to, so you'll say, well, in a year I won't be worried yeah. about the stuff I'm worried about now. It's true, man. That's a, the only thing that I'll, like, that's the only thing where talking about depression and, and mental health is, 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 is good, man. Like, well, obviously it's good. It yeah. needs to be done, man. And, um, from two alpha males, you know what I mean, like ourselves. So, you know, no soy boys talking about it. Don't matter. But now nah, I'm, I'm joking. You're not a soy boy. Is. Soy boy. A soy boy. Yeah, I eat bear soy. No, 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 no. It's, it's it's like I hope it's not fucking anything like really mean. It's um, men lacking masculine characteristics. Yeah, like, but do you know why it's called soy boy? Why? Bro, this whole thing, I'm very, oh, I'm, I'm shit, so I'm sorry, offended bro. by this whole bro, thing. Bro, wait, wait. The term is based on the phy- phytostrogen contained within soybeans, which have led to conclude that soy products feminise men. Thinking, bro, I can't believe you, I just called you a soy I, just, I never stop eating soy food. Bro. I can't believe that. <laughs> I'll, I'll take that back. <laughs> oh my gosh, so it's so, much, it's so what, I don't understand. So what, what happened is, bro? Let, let me what, say, what, let sorry, me, can I say that's what happens when you, like, if you're out on a night out and you call someone something and you've just heard it, you never know. If you don't understand the word, don't say it, because it might hurt them more than you know. So what is it? What's the soy bun? All right, what I, what I think... What's bad about soy? Right, what I think this stems from? Your cook. <laughs> <laughs> Your low tea. Low test, right? You call someone a low tea. Right. Right, this is an American thing. Sorry, I know you've got a lot of new American subscribers, but I can just imagine, I can imagine an American man Mm. Same. Such a low T male, man. Bro. <laughs> <laughs> I've never heard, like, you fucking low T. Darren, you're a low T. Fucking deep one, though, man. Bro. Especially someone's got low testosterone. Like, no, so, like, so many ve- vegans are. Yeah, so what this is coming from is so you, get, you get really, really bad vegans online. Mm. Okay? This is someone speaking as someone who's been plant based for like five years. Um, can I just say quickly yeah. about. Can I introduce you? Like obviously, I've, I don't need yeah. to introduce you now. But. Can I, right, yeah, right. can you, you explain? Oh, right, yeah, there was someone on the channel the other day who said, Oh, is that like, um, what did you say? That guy from is the, that the guy from Plant Fit? Is that what you said? Yeah. I thought it was just that vegan fitness channel. Oh, it might have been vegan. Yeah, I ran a vegan fitness channel like a few years ago. Um, decided to sack it off just because if I wanted to give you the real short synopsis of it, when if you've ever run a fitness account online, you'll understand where I'm coming from, but running an online fitness page is one of the most detrimental things you can do, in my opinion, to your own self-confidence and your own state of mental health. Uh, my entire sense of self-worth was entirely based on the number of likes and comments that I'd get on like a topless fucking picture on Instagram. Um, so as much as it was like a positive thing that I was doing helping people in my life, I had to put myself first and just like basically stop the whole thing because like just my entire perception of myself was so reliant on validation from strangers on the internet. Um, I just fell out of love with it all really as a result of that. That so, takes balls man to have, how many subscribers, but 
two two and a half thousand two on YouTube, thousand, so like a few thousand on Instagram. And just to throw that away, like, and it, and it was a good business. Like you're making decent uh, money. Yeah, man. Like, like you know, I mean, nothing to live off, but yeah. If, but if if I'd stuck at it, like yeah, I'd, yeah, I'd yeah. definitely be doing it full time now. And 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 you didn't. It was never. It was never like a. I'm not going to be a vegan anymore, or anything like that. Do you know what I mean, you still didn't okay. everything like that. So yeah, it does man. seem something like like a brave thing to do. Cause yeah. And like a risk, basically. And it's made, and it made you feel better. It's, it's a lot of people would know that, but then be like, get up and go. Oh, I've got to do this today, and carry on. Yeah. Just because. Yeah. They want that. So for you to like be like, I know it's affecting me, and delete the channel or whatever, or delete the. Yeah. Page like fucking hell it takes a lot of guts, man. It, it's just part of like I don't know, mate. Like I think, I think as you grow up a bit older as well. Like I just always through that period in my life, like nineteen, twenty. Well, not like yeah, kind of like nineteen all the way through to like maybe twenty three. Mm. It's like I can't like if you're at a party, like I can't be the biggest bloke in the room. Yeah. Like, yeah. Did you you got you got a bag? Didn't you? Like, like the tightest polo shirt on. Yeah, like, you know yeah, what I mean? Yeah. It'd be like yeah. just like just a, a minefield of like self confidence. Yeah. Like so like so thinly based. Like body um, body dysmorphia. Body dysmorphia. Do you reckon you had that? Mate, I look at pictures of how I used to look and I'm like, what the f but you, you were hench, bro? At the time you were I was absolutely hench. At the time I was like Nah. Really? That's mad. I need to look this certain way, I need to look that. So the day I realised that mate, I was like, this is like this is really messing me up, man. Yeah, like, I yeah. need to knock this on the head. Um And you did? So that like I but like I still have a, a vested interest in helping people, you know what I mean? Yeah, yeah, of course. Which is why like we've been working on the music lately and like yeah. I wanna do a podcast alongside it that's very much similar to what we're doing here. Yeah, yeah. Like, How's the music going, man? Yeah, it's sick, mate, it's sick. So yeah, me and the boys have been making just getting in the studio and just, just fucking making some is music. It in, is it in the studio is legit as well, isn't it? Like Well, Ed, Eddie's got one in his shed. Um where he's got all the right gear in there. George's got one in his I've bedroom. I've seen photos and it's like yeah, it's yeah, not yeah. like a bedroom, do you know what I mean? Like or yeah. a shed. Like yeah. wherever it is, it's not yeah, yeah, I mean? yeah. it's like a fucking proper studio. It's and yeah, the tracks are sounding that one you sent me, bro. <laughs> it's quite gas. Bro, yeah. man. I yeah, can't man. get over it. Like it's it, it's fucking sick. It's just yeah. it's 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 a easily it would just easily slide into like Spotify release radar playlist or like a fucking Sit man, that's good to hear. Weekly, that's good to hear. Like, that's good to Easily, it. and you wouldn't, you wouldn't like. If I was listening to that on Spotify Shuffle or you listen to the radio, you wouldn't stop. You know what I mean? You wouldn't, yeah. That's you wouldn't, <laughs> that sounds like an insult. <laughs> you, you, you wouldn't stop and go. We just go. Ah, oh. nah. But do you know what I mean? Like it sounds, prof like it sounds sick, man. Sounds yeah. good. Yeah. Well, I mean, like Brad, Brad produced it, mate. So like, there, there is that. Like obviously, he's. I've never seen a man. Like you know, they call it like a state of flow. Yeah. Like when you just. Like you're like, involved like, in like your highest point of like creativity yeah yeah and just watching him mate like he, he's a wizard but that's it man yeah right. man like it's just like mate i genuinely would like i tell you straight i live in a fucking caravan for the rest of my life if it meant that i could just like is that run, like run a podcast and music that just i don't know like a 19 year old kid either listens to the song or a podcast yeah. episode who maybe is on the verge of committing suicide and he's yeah. like this is stopping me from doing that. That's sick, man. Like that, that to me, mate, is just. And you could grow your own beans and shit. Yeah, and man. You grow your own soy. Yeah, mate. Like I'm, like, I'm probably gonna be that friend when you get older that you might be like, do you miss mate, it's, it's the most. Years, like, oh, going to my <laughs> <laughs> it's the most. And your kids are gonna go, oh, bro, fucking weirdo in the field. <laughs> bro, have you seen the YouTube videos of like, I left my life and I live in a tent, I live in a van. Bro, like, I'm a, I've become obsessed. They're in the mountains of Scotland, and they look the happiest they've ever been, man. And it's like there's a guy called Liam Brown, mate. Bro, know? I follow him. <laughs> Wait, bro, Liam right, Brown. Right. And he's like, and he's like, um, is that from like Cheshire? Yeah, like, yeah. And he's got. Like, oh, big up Liam Brown. Yeah, man. big up Liam Brown, man. He's he, he's killing it. I don't know how many subscribers he's got, but I think I clocked him when he was like on like a few subscribers, you know. Um, he, he made a video recently. He yeah, walked from like the most northern 61. point in Scotland. All the way to land. Have you seen that? It's like a no, nah, I haven't video. watched him in a while. Oh, yeah. mate, see, so he walks from the most northern point in Scotland all the way down to like Lands End mm. with just like a tent. Mm. And it's just, I don't know what it like. I've got like camping videos, like van videos. It's because there's no, there's something therapeutic. He doesn't look like he's got any worries. That's the thing. 
And yeah, he, he probably hasn't. But, but, it, but it's like, I think the reason they're so successful on YouTube because like, you sit down with your dinner, escape. And there's just something therapeutic about what about watching some geezer drive around in the van and just be like, here's my setup. Oh yeah, yeah. Like, I'm just making dinner out in the back of the van. But bro, <laughs> yeah. So, no. Bro, honestly, like the stuff I watch on YouTube, like, pod, like podcasts, if you just said like 10 years ago, like, to be fair, like I used to love like chat shows and shit, like the Jonathan Ross show and that. What's it? But like, <laughs> <laughs> big old what's it, man. <laughs> but like, now it's like, I listen, I'll listen to a podcast and sometimes like, even, the, even Rick Glassman, like, the guy that um, I saw in London, like, I'd never listened to any of his stand-up before. Yeah. Someone like that I kind of, like, don't even know, like I've heard a name of, I'd watch their podcast with them. And you're like, an hour and a half into it, having jokes, or like, enjoying it. Yeah. Or yeah. passing the time, or even if it's just passing the time, and you're like, what the fuck, man, like, this is something they've created. Yeah. And you're just, so, that's what I'm saying, anything, there's a, audience for absolutely fucking anything oh, in the world, bro. Like, mate, I, I, this is so off topic, but have you seen on Channel 4, Four on Demand, breastfeeding my boyfriend? <laughs> no, <laughs> so you say that then, there's an audience We need something to lighten it up. So, <laughs> yeah. Breastfeeding yeah. my boyfriend, what happened? Well, well we're, we're, we're talking like fully grown, like adults, like couples, and... Uh, yeah, I've got some fucked up to say afterwards as well. Yeah, man, so, there, there, there's like... Man and a woman. Well, well, it's just, yeah, it's like a fully grown man, a fully grown woman, like probably a bit older than us, to be fair. And, um, probably 30. Because women only lactate when they're like pregnant, or, oh. or, or not, not obviously, or after they've been pregnant. Obviously, yeah. you have to feed the baby. We're not scientists, but so, I think you have to be by a baby to lactate them. By a baby? You have to be like within a certain distance of a baby. Oh, what? Well, this woman was taking pills to like trick her body into Oh, maybe, pills. I don't know, man. But she'd give them birth. Anyway, this geezer has got his mad fetish for like being breastfed by his missus. That's fucking and, insane. And, and what they did, that is they, insane. They started creating content for. They've got it on YouTube. What? No, you can't see. You can't, you can't find that. <laughs> what is it? I don't want to see it. <laughs> <laughs> no, no. What? But like, um, so yeah. Not so, only fans kind of thing. Yeah, like a bit like a private like subscription. Oh, and, 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 and anyway, long story short, you saying there's an audience or anything. They've built this massive community of like adult breastfeeders that were like, that are basically been sending the messages like, ah, oh, I've been searching for someone who shares this fetish for years and now I've finally found it. So it's sexual, yeah. I don't know what he gets out of it, mate, but he just loves Milk, bread. probably. I always have, I've had, I actually sometimes have a fear when I'm sucking nipples that milk's gonna come out. Well, like, how many? That's my, that's like a fear of mine. So that's really? like, yeah. So that's like a, is that weird? Yeah, I've never once thought of that in my life. <laughs> I don't know, man. I just thought, I don't know. I think I've seen like, I don't know, man. I don't know. I just, I, like, that's in my head always. Not always, yeah. but like sometimes. I'm sounding like a freak now. <laughs> I need Timmy back, man. Fuck. <laughs> nah, I'm not well. Nah. Um, but yeah, that's, but listen, have you, have you ever watched Secret Life of Pups? Brother, pups, bro. Oh my god. <laughs> wait, wait. Let, let me take a shot in the dark. Fully grown men dressed as dogs. Yes. <laughs> How does that you know? Yeah, yeah. Well, I just. Have I you seen know, it? We're talking about fully grown men breastfeeding. So right, I don't know. Fully grown men. Fully grown men breastfeeding is like tame. A walk like like a sound. <laughs> like, but that wouldn't even shock this guy. Like, this, bro, this does this guy man. Oh, it's so fucked up. Let me give you like a short. Oh, right, well, give me the synopsis. It's just the synopsis. men that want to be treated like dogs, isn't it? Yeah. What? So it ranges from like men that will like put on like a dog mask and go like, ah! <laughs> 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 no, that's what you got. and then they'll get their wife to like throw a ball in the park, and they'll go and get it and bring it back to their wife, like like dominance maybe. Right. So yeah. you can so. so I'm not saying you could see why that's like a, a fetish, but you could be like, okay, maybe if you're trying to understand it. Then, bro, it gets like, then they're on all fours and shit, like acting like dogs, and they get their meals like brought to them in dog bowls and stuff. Like, and like, she'll make like, she'll put like a lasagna, like a microwave lasagna 
in a dog hole and then <laughs> I'm like, <laughs> like you know, I jumped at the bottom and down the stairs. Do these men like pay the women's No, they like, like, the, this one, this is the most fucked one. So this is bro, the how much acid do you have to take to bro, 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 I, I was watching it going, I was scared. Cause I was like, what if something like triggers on my mind now? And I want to be a pup. Like I was like, I'd be <laughs> like, it's it's the most fucked up thing, bro. And the last, the, like, because it's obviously just like full of, like, I don't want to be harsh. Can you can you call can you call people out weirdos? No one's yeah, watching I, this. Don't I, I, I mean, we were just talking about. Like, I know, I know. Young men with men. I know, man. So I, know. I feel like we can't. That's what I'm saying. So if you're a young man, who are we to talk about mental health issues and then call someone who's into that weird? True, but it's it's so true, but. Fuck it, humans are hypocrites, man. Humans are hypocrites, and also when you when you're making a joke, I've probably said so much bad shit about. It's people. only humour. It's all. It's humor. about people as well. Like, I'll, I'll joke about mental health as well. Like, I'll like, I, I might if I say anything bad about someone's mental health, like, I don't mean it. Do you know what I mean? But these guys are fucking freaks. Okay. <laughs> anyway, bro, he's this guy. He acts like a dog, and his yeah. wife's like fucking up, like. He wants to be a dog, like Steve. <laughs> she wants to be oh, a dog. She's about it. Yeah, she, she's well, she's like, I'm gutted about it, but like just a bit confused. And then um, she 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 starts going out with this new guy, like like instead of him. No, no, he's still there, and he and then she like goes out with him. He's the dog. He's their dog. Like he stays with their dog. He wait, like, wait. She gets a new fella. Yeah, yeah. And a previous boyfriend. No, no, just like. Yeah, the previous boyfriend stays, stays as in the dog. house as a dog. Yeah, yeah, and that, that, that couple now look after him as, as the dog, and take him to like dog competitions. That's fucked up, man. And they all meet up in like Germany, and there's like, like it's like it's just fucking it blows your mind because it's like it's so outrageously weird. I mean, like the, you see like a he, tournament. It's like the NEC's full of them, like full of men, like walking around on like. Um, it, it, there's something out, like there's something out there for everyone, bro. Each to their own, and it causing no harm. Fair play. They are causing no harm, but, but it's, it's scary. That's. Man. Do, do, do you know what I always think about things like this? What the hell did people do a hundred years ago? What it, like what was weird then? Would imagine being in nineteen twenty one and going, <laughs> I'm gonna be a dog. It would have probably been less weird then. Because you'd just be treated like a, a local beggar or something. Well, yeah, you'd be the local lawyer. Yeah. Mad like, man. Mental health back then as well. Like You'd just be like... Oh, it's terrible, mate. Like, you'd be like the local... They'd like... They'd just... But you know what? Also, you well, and... the, the figures show this as well, mate. Like, rates of anxiety and depression were less. Like, the more... The further back you go in time. Mm. I'm pretty sure of this anyway. Like, the less. Like, if you look like, yeah. like the last, less. Like, the last <laughs> 10 years, mate, anxiety and <laughs> depression is just... Like that's it, man. Skyrocket. That's it. So what does that tell us about the way that we're operating as a society? It's probably not in the yeah. best way that we could be operating. Have you read this book that's by uh, Jonathan... Let me find Watson. it. <laughs> What's he? Nah, let me go for a um, Hang on, I was two seconds, mate. Do you want a, Do you want a beer? Or? Uh, yeah, we'll go on then, mate. Seven. Uh, yeah, you yeah, might. Also, social media apps talk about that because we talked about that. I think. All right, I like how you veered away from that. Yeah, that's fascinating. No, but I'm saying no, 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 no. <laughs> I, 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 want, I want to discuss it, but I'm saying social media. People right. say social media apps. Oh, it's it's taking everything. Wait, let me. I'm gonna reverse for five minutes. It's all over the place. Is this guy Jonathan Hari? Jo, no, Johan Hari. And I wrote I read his book, and it's like literally about how depression is all in your mind. Like, it's nothing to do with chemical imbalances. And it's like, he says people do have chemical imbalances, but yeah. the majority of cases is like, if your wife dies and you get put on antidepressants because you're depressed, yeah. that's really bad. You're just grieving. Because, yeah, you, you, you're depressed for a reason, basically. And then okay. he's like, he does these things where he's like, there was a study in a tribe in Africa that grew up and looked after their family and were like the happiest on the scale. And then like yeah. a rich family that never see their children. That's all these, you know, like all those studies basically and showing that 
But the only thing is, he does sort of say like you don't need anti like don't get don't jump on antidepressants so easily. And I was already on them when I started listening to it, so I was like, fucking hell, man. Okay, but, okay, okay. But yeah, that's why I just wanted to. I don't know why we're talking about it, but I wanted to just make that point of like. All right, shit. Sure. That was just point, just, what point is point? Yeah, I, I I don't know, man. Right, if anybody watching this has a degree in psychology or is any kind of like therapist, like. Hit us up, man. I think it'd be really good to get someone on here because, like, me and you can throw around what we believe are facts all day, <laughs> nonsense. Like, but it's just like we haven't yeah. really got a clue. So it'd be good to get someone on here who actually knows what they're talking about and to. That's it, man. You know what I mean? Long, like, yeah, that'd be really valuable. Long term, it'll it's gonna get like it's just gonna get bigger the podcast. Do you know what I mean? And we're just gonna get more people on that have stuff to say. And that's the thing. Like we've got. It's it's the it's the people as well. It's like yeah. it doesn't matter nowadays. People don't want to listen to like Brad Pitt on Jonathan Ross. Yeah, fuck Brad. Because it's man. like they'll say something like, "Oh, I heard you fell over in tra- when you were doing a, your uh, yeah. stunts," and he's like, "Yeah, I did." And everyone laughs. Now that's dead. People would rather listen to people they don't even know, like us, uh, speak about stuff, how we truly feel, and how wh- how we're trying to better ourselves, man. Yeah. yeah. Rather than yeah. fucking nothing. But yeah. yeah. Psychologists holler us because we clearly know. Well, we need to know more, man. We only know what we know. Yeah. That's it. It's a good way of putting it, mate. Yeah, we are. The world's a big place, isn't it? That's it, man. Especially going to Australia. Like, yeah, man. That must help. Because you've seen. Mine. Yeah, what, what was once a mountain becomes a molehill when you do things like that. You know? Yeah, exactly. Like, that, like looping back to anxiety. Like, doing that did wonders, you know, did wonders for my anxiety. You know what I mean? Did it? Like, yeah. yeah. Bro, I remember going to Thailand. Remember me and Cal went to Thailand? Yeah, yeah. Like November 2019? Mm. No. Nah. November 2016. Nah. You remember November 2016? November 2016. Well, it was a year before I went to Australia. That's like two years before I left uni. Yeah, November 2016. That's okay. <laughs> okay. I'll leave you. Alright! <laughs> I remember getting to Bangkok, mate. And. Like, I've experienced panic attacks. Oh, no. But, like, bro, this was, like, eight hours of freaking well, out. On the, because of the plane? Just, man, I'm, like, oh, you I'm on the other side of the fucking world, mate, in this city I've never been in, like, oh. it was just intense. But, like, I hit it really well. And that was when you were still, like, not, well, the group therapy didn't really help, did it? But... That was oh, obviously, yeah, I was still semi going through it at this point. Yeah, honest, mate. I mean, evidently, like, I, I, yeah, I, I, and like, like eight hour panic attack is not ideal, do you know what I mean? Yeah, but like, mate, I just remember walking around Bangkok. That's a stressful place like, to like, be well, like in my head, mate. Like, I, I, I feel like Cal probably picked up on it, mm. but like, in my head, you I was really like, like, <laughs> in my head, I was like, I, like, I remember Cal, I vividly remember like getting back to the hotel room and Cal being like, What should we go out then? Mm. I was like, ah. We don't have to coach in the morning, oh. you know, which I'm gutted about. But like, we had a great, we had a really good, good three weeks. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But I vividly remember being in Bangkok mm. and being like, if I don't get the fuck out of here soon, like, shit, going with the broad man. But like, but like now, mate, like I go solo, like South America. That's what. Like minor. Would you? Yeah. Yeah, man. Because yeah. because I've gone, I've gone and done. I've never really travelled solo, but like. When you go and do something like Australia, you're like you meet a lot of people that do so. Like yeah, you just I don't, I, you become more capable in your confidence in your ability to handle yourself in situations. I feel like I'd be okay with that. I'm not. I'm. I'm. I'm okay. Uh, nothing would make me worry about going into like a group of people. Nothing makes me worry about that because if I, I think if they don't like me, they, I don't really care. Like I genuinely do think that. But then at the other side of the coin, I, that's all I care about. So it's like. Depends on what they are like, but um, but it's the fucking like the sleeping in the hostel and like like I, like I feel like my sleep but like I wouldn't be able to like my sleep be fucked up like I just feel so lost man like I feel like I'd just be like I'm in this different country I don't know anyone really like although it's fun and I'll probably have drinks and jokes and go clubs and then see mad shit but I'll be like like say if I go out on a night out and then the next day and I feel like a bit rough I don't know man I feel like it's like 
I don't know how you feel in a different country for months at a time. Like, I don't know. I don't know whether traveling, how, how, do you, when you were Thailand, you were three weeks, yeah. And then after that, you were like, I'm booking I'm like, Australia. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Because you're like, yeah. That's what you need to do. We often really. suffer more in our imagination than we do in our actual circumstances. Which is what I like, the examples you've just given me. Like, you're worried about shit that you wouldn't think about when you're there. Because you just get on with it, you know what I mean? Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. You're just around people who are probably thinking the same thing as you. Do you reckon? Like, I don't really think anyone goes to Australia for, like, 100% by chilling. This is calm. Apart from, like, like the seasoned vets yeah. of travellers. Yeah. Like, like, right. like, like, I've just said, oh, I'd, I'd rather go and do, like, six months South America on my own. It'd still be terrifying, bro. Like, obviously, like, I'd be shitting my pants. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But I'd, I'd fucking do it, you know what I mean? Mm -hmm. And that was why I wanted to go to Australia. Just come back from top fucking hell. Just come off it. Like, Stop touching me. So come back from Thailand, and I was like, that was sick, but it was hard. But I know that I have to conquer that within me. What? And what the, do you mean? Because it like the example of like being in Bangkok and like having like an eight hour panic attack. I mean, oh, well, I was like, this is an indication of something that I want to work on. Oh, okay, yeah, yeah. So yeah. I was like, so that was in your head when you were when you were going to Australia. So I was like, oh, okay. let's get in the deep end with this, mm -hmm. and let's really wrestle this. Fucking hell, like, man. Do you know what I mean? That's brave. And bro, there were parts of in, in the beginning of Australia again where I was just like, what the fuck am I doing, man? Like, yeah, yeah. Like what? I'm just, I don't, I don't have an address. Yeah. Like, I'm just living, I'm driving up the coast in this yeah, fucking, in, in this car with the boys, just like, yeah, hustle to hustle. Like, you know, I've got a job, like, mm. but there's something really, what's the word? When you're actually in that situation, it's a lot worse than you think it's going to be. A lot worse. No, no, no. <laughs> no, no. Sounds like hell. No. <laughs> no. You think it's going to be a lot worse yeah. than it is, and you're there, and you're like, like, well, you're like, well, Jesus Christ, I've got my health, I've got yeah. my best mates around exactly. me, I'm in a beautiful. I was world. jealous as fuck, man, to be honest, and it's something that I've always wanted to do, and I, I am going to do it at some point, man. But everyone laughs when I say that. But like, Mike Street is still in New Zealand. Um, he said he's going to be there for oh, the foreseeable yeah. future. Yeah. I need to save up a few grand and go, and I, you know, and just do it, man. But it's just, uh, it's motivation. It's like the setting plan, setting goals, and doing them. That's what I'm bad at. But fucking hell, man. But yeah, it's been a, uh, I don't know. What do you want to talk about? Anything else you want to cover? I feel like we've, uh, I feel like we've fucking. We have, mate. This has been a banging podcast. I don't think it's recorded. You know. Let me check if it has. No, if, no, if, no, if, no, it, no. if it has, I reckon we give it another 15 minute blast on a topic and then call it. Yeah, 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 yeah. Maybe stop recording. No, don't stop recording. One hour 40. Yeah, sit down. That's a nice time, man. Yeah, we should, right, should, right, should, should we finish it. <laughs> sit the fuck down. No one fucking leaves. Um, yeah, sit down for a sec. Then we go to the toilet. <laughs> fucking sit down, bro. <laughs> no, no, you sit in the office. Um, yeah, yeah, no. Nah. No, I have, but I'm, I'll probably not get a reference while I say it. Everybody, everybody, everybody calm down. No. Nah, Michael. No, nah, June plays a trick on Andy. Oh, thinking on this guy. Ha. He goes, he goes, fuck me, man. He, know, he, he, plays, he plays a trick on him thinking he goes, ha. And he's like, he goes, who the fuck is this? <laughs> who is this? And June's going, and he goes, who is this? Somebody <laughs> tell me, because I am gonna like kick me. I'm gonna lose my shit. And the camera zooms in on Jim, and he's going, and he's just like <laughs> sliding <laughs> things up on it. Fuck you know. That's in that that that's uh, that, I think that's is that season one. Because we you say after that, like no, nah, we're not season four. Season two. Yo, <laughs> yo. Right, so just for, just for you carry on. Yeah. I went in there and I was going to wear this if I was going to town. Yeah. He went, just chill in tonight then, man. <laughs> and I went, oh, nah. I went, I was going to go. That's funny, that, that accent you tried to put on. I went, yeah, true. <laughs> that I was low key racist. I was high key racist, probably. I was like, oh, nah. I was like, I better change it. You have to restart the fucking. Nah, bro, it's, it's an accent. You do accents. 
you snowflake. Yeah, that'd be right. <laughs> Fucking soy water. Yeah, you little soy bean. Yeah. Now, um, and I went, oh, no, nah, I'm going to... Uh, I went, no, I'm going out, but I'll train. I went, oh, I need to put a shirt on, won't I? And he went, yeah, put a shirt on. I was like, so. Bro, did I tell you about the time when I was at work? I went into the corner shop in town <laughs> after work once. Yeah. I'm not going to lie. Every Saturday shift I worked back then in town. Coin shop? Corner shop. Oh, you worked at a corner shop? Coin shop. No, I worked at... That waste removal company. Oh, when you clean bins. Yeah, yeah, I didn't clean bins. <laughs> but you I clean arranged, bin trucks. I arranged the removal of waste. That's that's what we'll say. Um, I'm a waste man. And then I was a waste man. And then most Saturdays I'd go in and I was pretty much hungover, man. I won't lie. This one Saturday, I, I probably slept since Thursday. Felt fresh as hell. Thought I looked smart, chilling. Went into the corner shop on my lunch. Got like a fucking bottle of water and some chewing gum, some fags maybe. And he goes, bloody hell, mate. <laughs> goes, we've all been there. I went, oh, what? I went, what? He went, you look rough, mate, you do. And I was like, <laughs> and I went, I, went, I, I was going, oh, no, mate, I know. And I started agreeing with him and he was going, going big every night, mate. He goes, you can do it. And I went, I know. He goes, out of the left. <laughs> the quiet is too much. He was, he was going out of the left. I went, oh, about five hours ago. He goes, fuck, you can do it. You can do it. I was going, oh, I know, I can. Cheers, mate. I was like, say, bro. I must just look fucking oh, awful. Right. <laughs> yeah, that's why I need to sort my of shit out, man. That was like, <laughs> needed fucking Timmy for that. But yeah. But, um, but yeah. So you think you overestimate. Yeah, so this is the topic. Um, so imagine you wake up, and imagine this is what all of us do first thing. You wake up, the first thing you do, when, I'm talking to the camera instead of you now. No, that's good. Like I don't know. And then, I know it's weird because I'm like, yeah, yeah. Fair enough. All right. First thing you do when you wake up, all of us do this, take your phone off airplane mode, or if you make your phone on silent. Do you put your phone on airplane mode before you get to bed? Yeah. Do you? Yeah, bro. I don't have, I have my I phone. Have, what, I'm sleeping, bro? I don't no, know. but I have my phone like, Throughout the day, I have my phone on sock, like, nothing will ever show up on my phone unless I go first, other than a phone call. Yeah, that's it. Because, yeah, that's really good. That That's that's how I do it. Yeah, fair play. Which man. is nice, but sorry, fam. That, um, yeah. Yeah. it gives me fucking ag. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. And then it can go off any minute. But, like, what what I'm trying to say is, like, I'll, I'll look at my phone and I'll be like, you've voice note for your life story, like, yeah, like messages of other people, and and instead and instead of me instead of me being like, ah, oh, actually, you know, maybe I'll meditate for fifteen minutes, make some some nice breakfast, take care of myself. I'm like, ah, oh, I have to get back to these messages, like, and that's what I mean when I say oh, I, okay. I overestimate my importance to other people because oh, okay. I'm like, fuck. Man. I don't want Joe to think I'm ignoring him. I don't want, do you know what I mean? Oh, I'm like, yeah, yeah, I'm like yeah, boom, yeah, boom, yeah, boom, yeah. I need to get back to these messages. Yeah, yeah. And that, from the minute I wake up, causes Stress. me to act, because I'm like, yeah. puts me in a stressful state of mind. Do you know what I mean? Bro, so many people are like that, because I, I think the good where, thing where is was like, like, When was the last time you didn't get a reply from someone for like 24 hours and you thought, cunt? <sighs> to be fair, I'm okay with that. That's what I mean. Because I'm, yeah, because I'm. If people don't reply to me for a day, I don't think twice about it. Yeah, but, yeah. But, but I think that, other, like, do you know what I mean? Yeah, so, so why? Why? So, why? Because so, I understand people have got things to do with their lives. I don't expect someone to reply to me. No, no, but why do you feel bad about it? Why do you feel like you have to reply fast then? Maybe because by nature I'm a bit of a people pleaser, mate. Yeah. You do know what I You reckon. I often put other people before myself. And do you reckon they expect a fast reply as well? Absolutely. You might have set a precedent where. You've well, always been, yeah. and can the thing is nowadays as well. It shows if you're online and fucking who the fuck my phone for the last month has had seen. I didn't realise like automatically for new numbers. So you get a text and they can to seen read. Like what the fuck, man? Just, like I, I don't even want anyone in the world for yeah. at least a, probably a day for a text back. So you just feel like you, you think you want to, it depends, if it, like, say if I voice note you, 
that should reach out to shit for like yeah. four minutes. Yes. That doesn't require an answer. <laughs> Do you know what I mean? Of course, of course. But I can see if someone says, Mike, what are you doing tomorrow night? You know, I can see why you'd want to, you wouldn't want to yeah. leave it. The flip side of it is, is, okay, you know when like, you're working, mm. right? Typing away your laptop. Oh yeah, do it every day. And you get that, okay, my phone. Mm. The little, yeah. you know what I mean? The well, little, that's what I, I work on my phone. All right, it's a bit different. It's horrible. Yeah. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. So I can't relate because it's okay. like rough. But I like, like everyone can relate. Yeah, like you like like I said earlier, you, we're creatures of habit, you know what mm -hmm. I mean? So it's like I've built up the habit now where I'll be working and every I don't know what sort of time frame it is, I'll be like Yeah, no. Yeah, I'll probably sort of it now. And that also plays a part in like overestimate over overestimating my importance to other people is like it's like I've built this habit now. Yeah. And a lot of other people have as well. Oh yeah. It's... Of so you know you know you get dopamine released when you open your phone, mm. right? And you have to scroll through Instagram or Facebook or Twitter yeah, or, yeah, you, yeah. or you check the WhatsApp group, you see what's going on. You get a surge of dopamine. You know what I mean? I fucking love dopamine. Now who the fuck doesn't worry? But dopamine is a reward based chemical. So yeah, if you go and do a half an hour run. You come back to your house. Did you get any dopamine from putting this table up earlier? A little bit of dopamine, mate, yeah. And do you get... Sorry, this is going off topic, but... Right. So, you do, you, you, do you still do... Go to the gym? Yeah, man. How often? How often, mate? Past three weeks, I've just been, like, Thursday, Friday, Saturday. But still, you, you usually try and go every day? Typical routine is five times a week. But oh, I, I, I don't... I don't, I don't, I don't so much, man. But I don't, like, lift... I lift weights a few times, I do Thai boxing, like I go on room, oh, yeah, like, yeah, yeah. I do yoga, like it's just a big... That was like, a question like, actually, um, well, I do remember, how do you feel about injuring one of your friend's eyes at Thai boxing? How did you feel? Apparently really badly injured another Thai boxer that was planning to have a fight um, in the next few months, but now can't because his eyes injured. And Mike I'll tell you how I feel about it mate, it was a very honest mistake. But it wasn't a mistake. <laughs> I don't feel anything. Oh, well, fuck it. <laughs> fuck all, mate. Well, nah, it's a mistake. It happens. Yeah. If you're in a sport where you're punching and kicking people in the face, bro, but you yeah. get hurt. Yeah. Okay. I mean, I, I, didn't, I didn't punch you in the face. Well, what did you do to him? So we were holding pads, right? And the combination was jab, cross, and the person holding the pad had to like throw a punch, and the other yeah. person would duck yeah, yeah. and come back with a jab. Yeah. And we were doing it quite robotically. Who got the combination wrong? No, no one got the combination wrong, but we were doing like, the other person, I, I don't know why we might say his name. Jack Mallon. Yeah. It was like, like, obviously like throwing like jab cross and then like ducking. Yeah. But obviously, like it was, it was very robotic. So mm -hmm. Mallon was like, mate, like genuinely trying to like, hit me because how else are you, you going to learn? First mistake, man. Like, <laughs> fucking so, shit mover. <laughs> Try and hit me, Mike. <coughs> Out for fucking six months. So, so you tried to hit him. Well, yeah. and and, and, and that's and, what and, the and, and Unfortunately, yeah, I caught him. But Manning's had previous injuries. That's that. hilarious. Oh, it's, it's not hilarious, it's bad, but yeah. it's fucking funny. Well, he's had previous injuries in the eye, and uh, I do not. I did feel terrible about it, mate, because I'm only joking like, about Finto. You shouldn't, you shouldn't feel terrible at all. It's it's, uh, it's tie boxing. Yeah. All right. Like fuck me. But me and Madden have a good like we have a really good relationship. Like yeah, it's yeah. nice going training with someone and like you know. Yeah, how about like, boxing? You re you recommend it then? Yeah. You think? Would you you want to fuck? Would you fight? We take it further. Francis and Garni started when he was like fucking like twenty five, bro. Yeah. I... You're just not hard enough, are you? You reckon you back? You reckon you beat me in a fight? <laughs> Bro, we've had a few stellars here now. No, I'm just, no, we're not going to fight, but I'm just saying, do you reckon you could? That's, that's, I think that's a standard conversation. I asked all my guests. Yeah, bro. You're not really a guest, man, but you know what I mean? I ask all my guests. Yeah. You think you're good? Yeah. Still drink talking. But it's okay. I've 
That's what I'm you saying. Like, I feel like a fucking fish coming in like that. Bro, I think we should, yeah, we should get the, the, the... But this is what I'm saying. Over time, this table will be built up, man. But... I feel like what we need is, like, memorabilia from each podcast. That's it. Well, that's what... I've got memorabilia. I've got a hurling um, racket that Aiden bought me. I've got tie, okay. tie boxing shorts that Manning got me okay. from Thailand. That's, that's what I'm saying. This... Like that. This is the podcast corner, bro. Yeah, exactly. That's what I'm saying. And bro, I was thinking about this, having having my own yard, which is nice. I was like, before I was looking at it like I'm not moving out. I was like, I was gassed about that third room. The pod, I was like, that's gonna be the podcast room. The third room is gonna be the podcast room. Like I'm gonna put this on the wall. I'm gonna do this on the wall. Getting gassed like this. And now I've suddenly realised, like, bro, every room can be like a podcast room. Yeah. Yeah, but like, fuck it. You uh, walk yeah. in my yard, like look like fucking teenager. I mean, look like a teenager, but I don't care. Yeah, yeah, I'm not like West Point Yard with a scarf and all that. Yeah, fuck it. Like, like, yeah, fuck. Yeah, Girls will probably fucking run off when they come in, but. Bro, fuck yeah, that. Man, I, mate, I've had some awful things in my room that I've brought girls back to, though. Like, do you do you, do you right, clean up? Right. When the girls come around. Remember when I was running for Pamphlet, yeah? That yeah. We spoke about earlier. So yeah. basically, bro, I created like an ebook that had 35 recipe videos in it. Yeah. But the way I wanted to shoot the videos was, Got quite I, 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 I wanted to shoot it right. Camera, you know, like um, the BuzzFeed video. Yeah, 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 yeah. The camera facing down. Like, yes. Bro, a tripod, of like to buy one facing down. Yeah. Like for some reason, it's a really Same. niche thing. Like no one makes them, and if they do, it's like bare people. Because mm. you're not making yourself. Well, this is what I did. Oh, shit. So I brought I brought a wooden table, similar to this to be honest with you. A portable stove to do oh. to do the cooking videos. And then for the tripod, stool, like like mm. imagine two massive stools either side, a broomstick duct taped to <laughs> each to each stool, and then like you know the gorilla pods? Yeah, yeah, yeah. The yeah. like handheld tripods. Yeah, 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 yeah. Fuck duct yeah. taped to one of them, facing down. And a girl came in. Bro, this is in Australia, isn't it? And like, Bro, I'd like to bring, I'd like bring you down it. She'd be like, are you about to film a Ted Bundy, man? <laughs> like, what? what the... She'd be like, what the fuck is this? And I'd be like, oh, well, like, I made so these like funny. food videos. That it? is so funny. She must have been like... So like, there's worse things, like a podcast. This a serial killer. Yeah. That is joke, man. Do you work though? Yeah. Yeah, man. The videos are really good quality. That's sick, babe. Have you still got the videos? Uh, nah. Oh, on the hard drive. Couldn't you sell them? Couldn't you? Couldn't you have sold your your YouTube channel? Yeah, well, this is it, mate. We did actually give it to a geezer. Like me, so eventually it became me and my pal Owen, mm. who, like co-owned Plant Fit. I told him mate, that I'm not interested in it anymore. He found a geezer who said he'd run it. Me and Owen retained like forty percent. Still. I know. Like, like we go to the geezer, and he was like, "Yeah, I'll do it." Okay. Never heard of him again. Didn't do a thing with it. Oh. So nothing happened. So it's still it's still active. Well, there's a YouTube channel, bro. With two thousand five hundred subscribers, bro. Fuck them off to here. Get them on Joe Vlogs. I'll become a vegan happily, man. <laughs> I went to I went to uh, Pizza Express on um, Wednesday night. I got a takeaway. Got a salad, bro. No pizza. No pizza. Yeah. Swear to God. Ruby got um, canola. Cano- she's, she's a vegetarian. Mm. Cano- canola or whatever. But vegetarian is fucking easy, man. Mm. Like, how do you feel about vegetarians? I, I feel like. Oh, mate, look. You're not. You're not. People can eat what they want to eat, bro. No, I know, but I'm saying they aren't on your level, bro. Like, if a vegetarian. Like, there's no levels, bro. It's no, but if like... a vegetarian is like. to you. God, can't believe that guy over there is eating meat. I'd be like, if I was a vegan, I'd be like, bro, don't fucking put me in with you. <laughs> like, you've got an option on every fucking menu. Like, fuck off. You eat cheese, blood. Like, it's easy for you. I'm a vegan. Get over there with the vegetarians. <laughs> That's how I feel anyway, man, basically. Yeah, fair. But obviously, I ain't gonna, not gonna make many friends in there. Like yeah, of course, mate. This is, as as yeah. with any movement, you get quite radicalised uh, views. You're like the least radical vegan I've ever met, man. That's good, mate. I feel like that's how a lot of people should approach you. Right. I'm so much more likely to be vegan from 
hearing you than anything I see on the internet. Well, this is the problem. Remember the picture I sent you the other day when it was like people become so deeply embodied with a particular movement mm. when they're not fully comfortable with who they are. They find the movement to become a part of um, and they lose all sense of self. Yeah, it's like these climate change protesters that have been like gluing themselves to the floors. It's like the message they're trying to get across is sick. Like we can all get on board with it, man. Yeah. But like, the doing the, the, it. like and it's like when people walk into a restaurant with a sign saying meat is yeah, yeah, and cow yeah, being true. heavy. That's it's, it's like bro, yeah. When I first went vegan, if I slandered you for eating meat, you'd be like What? Yeah. But like I think you've gone weird. But exactly, but by like you just said, by you look, looking at me and being like, ah, oh, it's not that hard to do and like yeah, it's more yeah, fair yeah. play, like it works. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like you're probably more open to being like, ah, oh, I could probably not eat meat yeah, for like yeah, one yeah. night a week, maybe. And that yeah, exactly, and that you makes a I mean? difference, you know what I mean? Like in terms of climate change, in terms yeah, of man. you know, animals, you don't want anything to feel harm. Yeah. In terms of how yeah. they feel, whatever. Do you know what I mean? You don't want good Okay, no, legs, bro. Man. Fuck me. Um, but you don't want anything to like feel harm, and that's what I'm saying about like I don't get into obviously politics is just a rough one, man. Like we got like kind of got involved in it with James Malcolm when he came on, man. But mm. like, because yeah. I don't know much about politics, man. Neither do I. I, 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 end, up some some, I end up sounding like a fucking fucking Richard Richard Mitchell. No, what's his name? <laughs> Richard Dawkins. No fucking. MP for St. Caulfield. Andrew Mitchell. Andrew Mitchell. Richard Mitchell, you know. <laughs> <laughs> um, uh, but like. Oh, kind of flowy, but man. no, like, he does. I want that one in the name. But like, everyone wants the same thing pretty much, and it? Do you know what I mean? No, I don't know that. Everyone wants, like, what climate change. Want? Everyone agrees. They don't want their fucking grandchildren to not be able to fucking get a glass of water or grow yeah. a fucking yeah. piece of grass yeah. or whatever. Yeah. You know what I mean? Everyone agrees that they don't want people to be homeless. Everyone agrees that they don't want people to, in Afghanistan, to be families to die of hunger yeah. or, you know, women being mistreated or anything like that. Everyone agrees. I feel like every, obviously there's some fucking sickos out there, but in the majority, normal people agree it's just how that this is it's the message why is about that's what i'm saying so it's like veganism like it's 100 percent you're a way better ambassador for veganism than anything else if you're, you're you're saying stuff like give it a week man i feel i feel a lot i feel better about myself i feel i feel you know i feel a little bit more energy i feel a little bit better yeah. um you know and there's only positives I mean, mm. try it, man. And if you try it and it works for you, do it. Like, it's not, yeah. who cares? Yeah. Like, it's like, it's not on the same level at all, but it's kind of like the more you have people that come out and say, like, it's automatic, man. Oh, like, make it smell from the fresh, man. But, um, little squirt through in the corner. But, um, more people that come out and like saying like, say like, you know, if I'm not, I'm depressed or I've got depression, I'll say that. You, you, I'm not saying veganism is the same thing, but like, you know, vegan, anxious, like, it's so that when people grow up that are 18, like we were, or like 20, like, I definitely, you probably thought when, I don't know, man, maybe when you started getting into veganism or looking at the videos, like, going to a barbecue at one of the lads' house or, Oh, one yeah. of the girl, a, a, like a girl's invited us to a barbecue yeah. and saying, oh, no, I don't eat meat. Oh. You probably felt like that was a bit of an awkward thing to say. Oh, right. I, like, like, I, I can tell you now, there were definitely instances where like social anxiety, like, mm. you know, because it's like, especially, I feel like now, like, it's a bit more fucking, I don't know, like, you can go like Asda and get better vegan things. Yeah, like, yeah, yeah. When I was like to you, like, oh, I've always been thinking about like cooking out meat or whatever. Mm. Like, mate, I remember, like you say, like summer barbecues and that. Yeah, yeah, that's, yeah. What? Yeah, yeah, that's it, man. It's what do you like, mean? 
See, what the fuck? At that age, you're just going to blend in, man. It's, 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 oh, bless you. Yeah. It's, 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 it's not a problem, is it? Like, oh, oh bless you. Not where I'm just like, oh, no, like, I'm just, I've got a few veggie it's burgers. It's a, a leap. Like, yeah, like, it's not that deep, man. Yeah. But, like, exactly. everyone, everyone, everyone deep sitting on, like, look, mm. man. But that's what that... I just want to sit in a shadowy corner and eat my veggie burger. And just, <laughs> yeah, like, exactly, not, man. Not, like, you know what I mean? Exactly, man. But now it's like, it might be more... Like say the positive change where you can talk about it. Well, bro, like, I saw an advert for like Wagamama's the other day. Yeah. But like, half their menu is vegan now. And it's like mm. the marketing message they're leading with is like I can't remember it off the top of my head, but it's like it's like it's very much focused on the environment. Do you know yeah, what I mean? Yeah, yeah. And like that's sick, mate. Because mm. like the way that they can create food that is so close to the texture and taste of meat. See, yeah. it's, like, it's, like, it's not it's not killing someone to order a vegan curry versus no, a meat based curry. You know what I mean? That's true. But I, I Liam Liam Moran eats uh, Stella McCartney burgers. It's Stella McCartney or Linda McCartney. Yeah. Linda. Stella's the one more well make, isn't she? I don't know. Anyway, it doesn't matter. But um, but I tried a bit like an impossible not an impossible, I haven't tried any of them stuff, but like I'm just a bit like this thing in my head. Once I get past that, I'd happily eat anything that tastes like so I love like vegetables and salad and everything like that. So like mm. it's calm. It's just that sometimes you like ah oh, for a bit of chicken on there or something. But you can get that that substitute easily. Well, yeah, this is it, mate. Imagine again. I said it for like the first time this episode. We're creatures of habit. <laughs> so imagine that's the episode now. Imagine the twenty one creatures of habit. <laughs> twenty one years of your life you've eaten meat. Okay. Yeah. Pretty much on a daily basis. What? 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 Sorry. So, imagine then trying to recreate meals. Yeah. Like without that. Yeah. Like it's hard, you know. If you like, mm. what goes with this? So I've spent twenty years of my life pairing chicken with a Caesar salad. You know what I mean? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So like it's that. Gym as well. Like, yeah. So like, I don't endorse eating like fake meat products regularly. Yeah, but you have to. Because they're. But like not on like a daily basis, mate. It's like they're full of shit. Yeah, like, that's it. That's like, why like, you see a vegetarian eat, or a vegan eating Oreos, bro. Yeah, bro. Like, like you're a little cheater, bro. To kiss your teeth. Yeah, yeah bro. You get vegan eating Oreos. Yeah, that's what I say to bro. You can, bro. Eat. But like everyone thinks, like you're vegan, you just eat leaves. But you, bro, you can be vegan no. and and insanely unhealthy. Yeah, exactly. Like Oreos are vegan. And that's fries, right. That's like, fries bad. That's vegan. awful, isn't it? That's bad for you. Well, well, it's bad for yourself. Yeah, but it's yeah, bad for yeah, yourself. Of course, yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. But because more the, and more, the, the, the way that I find the best way to go about it when talking about it with people is, bro, people only care about themselves. Ourselves is I, I, like you care about yourself more than anything. I care about myself more than anything. Like, like people most often, unless something really affects them as a person, we don't really want to hear it. Yeah. Now it's true. Look, and a cow is a hard thing to. Yeah, look, I'm not a doctor, okay? I don't have any qualification in nutrition or anything along those lines. But from what I've read online and from what the science says in various studies, there is a potential that choosing a plant based diet can reduce chances of stroke, heart disease, mm. and things like that. Mm. So you take a 50 year old bloke who is on that road to stroke, heart disease so on and so forth yeah and their doctor says if you carry on eating the way you're eating you will end up like xyz mm. or if you potentially cut down the amount of meat that you're eating you might live longer to see your grandkids yeah yeah yeah, yeah. that's the that's the then, that's you, gonna... then that's when okay. people are like hey maybe I'd yeah, like, yeah. for me bro like i have really bad acne or really bad skin and that was your and then i was like okay maybe i'll suck off meat and dairy mm and try going vegan and I was like alright my skin looks a bit better so because that was personal to me I was like I'm going to yeah, stick yeah. this out you know what I mean maybe it was the dairy rather than the meat though so well, I'm just thinking yeah. my, my mum yeah no gas she's doing she's carnivore diet so she's only eating meat bro yeah but like, that's it um, you want a hip hop don't you <laughs> like, bro, bro, bro. No, that's it because she saw it like reads a bit like magazines and stuff and it's like it's great She's got arthritis in it, and it's like, oh, people say it's it's, it's really good for you. It helps you, and but people have shot like she's been vegan before. Like she's been vegan for like probably like five years. So she's like done all like 
every 50 yeah, 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 like, yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, so she's not like, um, but she's doing that kind of all like, that. She's like, I feel like I can walk, walk further, like I've got more in. Like, Amazing. Yeah, Amazing. that's what I'm saying. So it's like, whatever works for you. Case by case basis. Yeah, 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 yeah. I truly don't feel that there yeah. is a blanket one size fits all. Yeah. If that's working for her, then mm. see. Yeah. Um, the, the only thing with that choice of the of that lifestyle and eating is the environmental impact. She's fucking that, that, that like <laughs> that, that, that we probably can't ignore. Yeah. From a health perspective, like yeah. I'm not a qualified yeah, doctor, yeah, but yeah, I don't yeah, know yeah, what. Yeah, yeah. All I know is that I feel better by eating in this particular way. Yeah, yeah. And yeah. she feels better eating that. And if that, you, if you and, and that's sick for her. Yeah, yeah. That's that's what that's what it's saying. It's like. Cause you get such, cause like she was on, she's on, um, cause she was telling man, she's like on this vegan Facebook page, and like fuck me man, I think you get like Americans on there, which probably gonna be a big part of the audience about <laughs> that, but they're like just shot this fucking elk and I'm gonna eat this shit out of it, like full on like, you know what I mean, like just extra, like whoa, like that's a bit scary man, but um. So it, it just depends on it, but I agree, if you can, but then I was looking at a video as well with climate change that like owning a hat, not owning a house, what was it, driving, not driving a car, there's something that we do, quite a good conversation if I don't know the app and stuff, but it's like there's something that we do that's worse than eating meat or it close, driving a car, maybe clothes, something. It's something that's like, you wouldn't think, but I can't remember, it's like decent. But it's like I'll I'll try and do it. It's like what what's the worst for? Um, yeah, because I'm going through to worst. I'm throwing some weird shit on your suggested search. So no, did you see that? Oh god! Fuck! I ain't going on the United Nations no, website. It's an, it's an advert, man. Did you click on? Bro, go back, go back, go back, go back. Must be spending pee on that. Oh no. Wait, yeah, top ten. No, yeah. No, you want yeah, to, yeah, yeah, yeah. No, ten the top. The villains. I fucking hate when you have to go to like one out of ten. Okay, so wait, 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 go back. What was number one? It was um fossil fuels. It's like heat. Yeah, and it's not like fossil fuels. <laughs> Manufacturing. Food. Okay, maybe it was like putting the heating on your house. Yeah, oh, bro, that's. I can't believe you know what it was. Oh, it was something where I was like, why aren't people like fucking having a go at that? Because everyone, like, I don't know, I'm trying to shit my knees. Okay, right, the top 15 carbon polluters in the UK revealed. It's an attention graphic, I don't know. CO2. I don't like this website. Oh, weird, I Raw, one company's fucking. Imagine having one company that's done 3% of carbon emissions in the whole of the UK. These, these, these need to look at themselves. Oh, yeah, flights. I think that's what it was. I know that doesn't sound like a big thing, but yeah. flights. It was like one plane, like, is the same as like if you didn't eat meat for like five years or something like it was insane. Yeah, sure. No, bro, it was something insane like that. It was like it was like crazy difference. It was like really if you just didn't take one flight. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I know you're feeling bad now because you're like no. Nah, okay, I'll, I'll try and I'll find out and I'll back it up. But all right, all right. Well, anyway, mate, I think we've I think we've kind of I feel like squeeze, that was the squeeze, worst. Squeeze, end. Yeah, squeeze everything we can out of this conversation. I've ever had. Um, but yeah, look, mate, absolute pleasure, man. I think I think that was a really yeah. I think that was a nice combination of sort of talking about some topics that young people, men, men and especially, maybe need to kind of be a bit more open about. Yeah. A few jokes thrown in there. I think it was a pretty good, pretty good episode, man. Definitely, man. It's been sick. Um, it's just it's just not even making the time, man, because. Everyone's got time. It's just agreeing to say this time, this place, and doing one man. Exactly. And saying three random topics 
and just talking about it. I feel like the topics we agreed on, we didn't even like. We just yeah, you know what I mean? exactly. And I think I think it's not like you can talk about male pro issues, depression, but we're both young men. We're going to be talking about it every every episode. You know what I mean, like fuck yeah. me, man. I've got a lot of issues. Like, if you want to talk about issues, we'll be here all day. So it doesn't have to be like, okay, you've covered that. Next week, oh, don't talk about that because you've covered it. Like, then you just talk about something that happened that was you know awkward and uh or yeah. you went out and something happened man and people want to know because people are nosy man do you know what i mean and people and also are probably suffering with similar similar sense, issues mate and i feel like it's very 100 percent, man very therapeutic you know suffer with us man suffer with us suffer with us and that could be a fucking channel man <laughs> suffer with us sounds like a fucking like that yeah it's a bit dark we I'm, semi suffer with us but we in all seriousness we hope that us two geezers sitting down here not really with a clue what we're talking about we're just opening up allows you to open up a conversation with your own sort of circle of friends maybe but that's the only yeah. problem i don't think it would all right probably won't but but that's why i feel like if, us doing if, this is better than nothing exactly so everyone's helping one percent so ask your friends if they're okay if your friends see this if two friends see this which they won't, but let's say an example like Joe Rogan, two friends see it. Then they go, oh bro, did you see the bit about th that? Yeah. Kid Cudi. Uh, we've seen that new documentary about him talking about depression. And they're like, yeah, yeah, bro. Like, that starts the convo, man. And the more yeah. content like that, it can only lead to good things. Precisely. So... We'll so wrap it up there, won't we? Yeah, we'll wrap it up, man, like a Christmas turkey. If you made it this far, thank you for watching what we're working. Two hours? Two hours. So I hope you like the new studio. Yep. Hopefully by the next episode, we'll do one next week, maybe. And we'll have added a few things to the wall. Um, obviously, get some good guests on that actually know what they're talking about. And yeah, big up everyone. Appreciate every subscriber from the bottom of my heart. Um, respect. Cheers, guys. Thank you. Respect. You good, mate? I'm gonna go for a piss. Go on, mate. Alright, we're recording.